What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be covering the thrust and voltage of trolling motors to help you figure out what size motor you need to fit your boat. Trolling motor power ratings are rated on pounds of thrust. The thrust of a trolling motor can range anywhere from 30 pounds to well over 100 pounds of thrust. The rule of thumb for choosing the right motor is two pounds of thrust for every 100 pounds of fully loaded boat weight. For example, a 2,000 pound boat would need at least 40 pounds of thrust and a 4,000 pound boat would need at least 80. You also need to go up a bit on thrust if you fish a lot in wind or current or if your boat has a lot of drag or resistance in the water. Each motor also has a voltage that it's rated for. A trolling motor can range in voltage from 12 volts to 36 volts, meaning a 12 volt motor will require one battery, 24 volts, two batteries, and 36 volts, three batteries. If you're on the fence about what thrust to go with, I always recommend going with the higher pound thrust motor because you can always turn it down and run it on the slower speeds, but you still have that extra power to get to your spot when you need it. The slower the speed your motor is running, the less amps it is drawing, and the cooler it will run which means less battery consumption and longer runtime. Not only will this conserve more battery life, but it's a lot easier on your motor in the long run. Running your motor consistently on high speed draws a lot more amps, which creates a lot more heat, costing you more in maintenance and repairs over time. By dialing your motor speed back with the higher pound thrust motor, you can consistently run your motor at that slower speed, but still move your boat along at the same pace. This is especially true on a digital or variable speed motor because there is no such thing as the slow speed being too fast. It doesn't have set speeds, so you can run it as slow as you want. So I hope this video helped give you guys a baseline for what size motor to go with. Make sure to check out our other videos, including the buyer's guide and the shaft length guide. I appreciate you guys watching, and if you got something out of this video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and as always, Keep trolling.